Hey, it's the Curious Chicks, and Emma has agreed to quiz us on our airline knowledge. What is the most important thing a passenger can do during a flight emergency? Stay calm. Yes. Um, yes, stay calm and uh, breathe. Look around, be very observant of what's going on. That is a good answer, staying calm, but listen and follow directions. It all depends on the type of emergency, so if it's a medical emergency, you're just gonna wanna stay out of the way, you're gonna wanna listen for if they need help with anything. They'll prep you for everything, so listen, pay attention, and stay calm. Why do passengers have to put their phones in airplane mode during takeoff and landings? Isn't it because it's like some radio wave yeah, interaction like, thingy? You're messing with the yeah. radio frequency and then they yeah. can't communicate back to the, like the main tower and that's yeah. not good. It could mess with the radio frequencies that the pilots use, especially when they talk to uh, air traffic controls. But during takeoff and landing, those are the most crucial times of flight because that's when if something were to go wrong, that could go wrong. Doesn't happen often, but do you want it to happen when pilots are talking to air traffic control? No. <laughs> so put your phone in airplane mode. Why do some airlines make you open your window shades during takeoff and landings? You know, that is a good question. That is an excellent question. Because I, I don't get it. I don't know. Well, what if I want to look outside? You yeah, know? don't tell me. Passengers are also eyes and ears for the aircraft. So if something's going wrong outside and you see it, your first thing you're gonna do is tell somebody. Whereas opposed to maybe the flight attendants or the pilots, they won't notice it right away. Um, another reason is it adjusts your eyes to the conditions of outside. The whole theory behind it is when, if you had to do an emergency evacuation, your eyes are gonna be adjusted to the conditions outside. That way you're better uh, able to exit the aircraft. Most airlines, though, I don't think use that anymore. It's not an FAA regulation anymore. What happens if someone has a health problem that occurs while in the air and needs immediate attention? I know. Doctor. You ask. Yeah, doctor. You ask. You ask if there's a doctor on the plane. Doctor. And then they or come nurse. and they help out. Yes. You were correct. You do want to see if there is medical personnel on board. A lot of times there is, and we do have ways of patching through to special medical personnel. We can talk to them through headphones. Where it's a dire medical emergency, they're going to make. Uh, plans for an alternate landing and they're gonna go to the closest airport ER CPR certified. We do have basic training in various different medical emergencies to help us figure out what are the initial steps we need to do to make sure that the situation is taken care of. What types of crime or theft happens during flights? If so, how common are they? Stealing your bag, stealing something yeah. in your bag, stealing your baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can see people getting like molested on planes or like harassed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not cool. I haven't had any instances where people have come up to me and said anything was stolen. No missing baby so far. There are instances where people have taken the wrong bag. So label your bag, put something on it that distinctively makes it look like yours so nobody else confuses it with theirs. What is the most important safety feature on a plane and why? Emergency exits? I would assume so. <laughs> The most helpful thing on a flight is your flight attendant. While we are there to give you those nice cocktails and peanuts and pretzels, uh, our main feature of a flight attendant on an aircraft is for safety. So that is your most important safety feature is us. What happens in the instance of a fire? Fire extinguisher? It has some fire to do with like the engine. There's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Lord We're Jesus is like, the fire. That all depends on, I guess, at what point in flight you're at. If it's on the ground, the most important thing you can do is listen to instructions to evacuate. During flight, the most important thing is to tell your flight attendants. We, every aircraft is equipped with, um, sometimes it depends on the size of the aircraft, but multiple fire extinguishers. If it's not in the cabin, pilots and flight attendants might not be aware of it. That's why it is good to be observant, be aware of what's going around. But if you notice a fire, tell somebody right away. Where is the safest place to sit on a plane? Emergency exit. <laughs> Seats. No, no. Well, you know Because they make you help everybody else. Yeah. You have to tell them that you're willing to help. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go with front, middle, or back. Anywhere? I'm going to go in between the front and the middle and then between the back and the middle. Oh, okay. I don't think you can say there is one safest place to sit on the plane. 
If you're going to look at evacuating, it would all depend on how you're going to evacuate the plane, which doors you're able to use. Different people say that the second half of the aircraft statistically uh, tends to have a better survival rate, the ones that are in accidents or crashes. Um, but the numbers were very, very close that I don't think that it really rings true. I've heard that the middle seats towards the second half of the aircraft are safer. I don't, I don't think so. Everything is very circumstantial. I think every seat has the best chance of being the safest seat. Are low budget airlines less safe than other airlines? I kind of think so. I kind of think so too. You kind of get what you pay for. Yeah. Right? It just feels that way. I don't know. These are good questions. There's no uh, compromise in safety for the low budget airlines. Low budget just means less amenities. As far as safety, no, they're all heavily regulated. If you went out of the country, I'm not sure. I know Europe uh, has a similar thing to the FAA as the United States does. If you go outside of those places, I'm not sure. Maybe they are different. Most airlines use the same aircraft providers, so you're gonna be getting the same aircraft kind of no matter which airline you fly. Is there any interesting fact about flying that most people wouldn't know about? That you can't smoke on a plane? I think most people know you that. You would think, but they still have that icon all the time. And they tell you all the time. You would think people would know this by now. One thing I notice is the amount of people who walk into the bathroom barefoot. <laughs> Never walk into the bathroom barefoot. It's not the cleanest floor. People let their children go in there barefoot. Don't do it. Just don't do it. As far as the seatbelt sign, one other interesting thing that I don't think a lot of people know is if that seatbelt sign is on and you need to use the laboratories, a flight attendant will never be able to give you permission to use that bathroom. Doesn't mean you can't go, it means you're going at your own risk, but they will never be able to tell you, yes, you can go as long as that seatbelt sign is on. There are signs in there, don't drink that bathroom water. If you're gonna brush your teeth, because some people wanna brush their teeth on the airplane, just ask the flight attendants for a cup of water. But yeah, the water isn't meant for consumption. It's not been filtered properly. It's just meant for washing hands. How often are planes sanitized, including seats, armrests, touchscreen, seat belts? I kind of feel like never, but I really hope I, it's all the time. I want to, I would, yeah, I, I would want to believe. I want to believe that it would be all the time, but it's a sad thing. Yeah. I don't have data on how often it actually gets thoroughly sanitized, but I would say that it's not very often, if maybe never. It does get clean, the aircrafts do get clean. Again, it depends on the airline that you're traveling with, either during each flight or a hardcore cleaning at the end of the day where everything gets vacuumed, wiped down. But sanitizing it, probably not very often. Yeah, people clean their seats all the time on the plane. I see people sanitize after they're done because their kids are messy. Um, so people, yeah, people do it all the time. Where does the toilet waste go when you flush? It does go into an actual waste container, big one, um, where it gets dumped once you get to your destination. It's not too exciting, but it's also, it's just, it's just a matter of hooking up a tube and dumping it and then done. So nobody actually handles your poo. <laughs> <laughs> What was the question? Um, a little... What is that thing? What was the question? <laughs> What's the question? Yeah, what was the question? We can be like flight I attendants. Know. We don't have to do three weeks of training. No. Uh-uh, <laughs> we're ready.